Grandseer says that democracy is the ability for everybody and anybody to govern. And I'm not sure that everyone necessarily knows that they possibly can govern more than they're aware of. The Chartists, led by John Frost, uh, fought for our democracy, for our freedom, our rights to vote. On these very streets, blood did run. The right to be able to become an MP without being a wealthy landowner. All men over the age of 21 to have the right to vote. A movement towards things becoming more potentially equal and the hierarchy breaking down. Now we know that uh, politics don't, they don't just affect the people that vote, they affect um, the families, they, they affect children. We're so lucky in Britain that we have the chance to vote and have the right, but many other countries don't, and I think it's nice for them to know our story, to know that they could. It give us wonderful, wonderful opportunities in this country. Unfortunately, not everybody realises the opportunity has given them, but give us all a wonderful chance, and they risk their lives, and they, they lost their lives to give us that wonderful opportunity. Another breeze and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees and the fed worms waiting on dawn's bright lawn as he names the sky his own. We are projection mapping the face of the Riverfront Theatre in Newport. We're helping construct the, uh, the bird cage, which is going to be part of the final uh, piece. I uh, made the puppet for busy events. I've spent um, some of the afternoon telling the story of one of the Chartists, who unfortunately um, was one of the people who died in front of the Westgate Hotel in 1839. Come along to bang some things and play some drums and uh, encourage people to do the same as we march through Newport celebrating the Chartist Revolution. We've created a performance arts piece involving dancers from the theatre. We've recorded them in a green screen studio. That's all coordinated with a piece that's created by um, a guy called Bro, and he's created the music for the whole movement. It's about unity, it's about togetherness, it's about uh, coming together to stand for what we believe in. Bird based on Megan. Megan Holborn, who was the star, put these wings on. There was a lot of rehearsing, a lot of practicing, a lot of constructing choreography. I didn't think it was going to be so big and that I'd be needed so much, but it was um, it was very fun and I'm glad I had the opportunity. A caged bird is an oppressed spirit. It's it's an angry, broken and stunted existence. It doesn't get a chance to spread its wings. It doesn't get its chance to, to be free. So all it can do is sing. The idea is to, to inspire and say what, what can we do by working together. It sort of gives us an insight into how impassioned and determined the Chartists were. It's a real Newport piece. It's about the history of Newport the political movements that have gone into building Newport. It's a really important story and one that probably has been lost from the public consciousness to a large degree, but one that's important not only for this city but for the whole of the UK. Democracy, uh, it means a, the people speaking up for themselves. It, it means that no longer are decisions by governments that we are arm's length from, decisions of the elite. It's about the wider people having a voice, and that can mean from political choices, domestic choices, to global choices. So the freedom, the bird, actually represents to me that we all have wings and that we all have a say. And I think that's what the Chartists, in their original voices from the common man, the common woman, would have wanted us to have in this day and age.